welcome to Kentucky Brew Review. I'm Special K. I'm Radar. And tonight we're going to be reviewing Hudpool and Third Shift Amber Lager. We're going to go ahead and start out with the Hudpool. All right. Hudpool is uh, what? Uh, it's 4.7% uh, alcohol by volume. Yeah. And uh, we're using. We can't find a normal. It was a twist opener. It was a twist. It, it surely was. That's okay. Um, yeah. So, um, what is that? It's a lager, so it needs to go it's inside. It's an amber this. lager, yeah. Mm, it's a beautiful color. It's a beautiful the surge gives it a nice head. It's a beautiful amber color. The head's a, almost a light pharma color. I'm going to give you a little bit better of a head there. Or not. It surges up really nicely. It starts out a smaller head, but it... Yeah, it's a nice, uh, nice amber color. Yeah, it's getting in towards honey. Yeah. It's definitely getting in towards honey. The head is a light color, uh, like a like a light caramel. What it was? Mm -hmm. Well, now it's kind of off white. Um, um, pretty decent carbonation. It smells about like a lager. There's not really. Well, you get. Uh, I'm not really getting any special notes out of this. So you almost get a little bit of corn, maybe. I get nothing impressive out of this. It smells like a lager. It smells like a drinkable beer. I it think. does. It smells like a drinkable beer. Uh, and yeah. though, though it does say, it does have like a German style name. It is an American beer. It's uh, brewed in Cincinnati, Ohio. Say? Yeah, Ohio. Shall we? We shall. Ooh, that's nice. That was so good. I inadvertently took two drinks there. Oh, I did. Yeah, that's a... <laughs> It's got a decent bitterness, not definitely not overly bitter by any standards. No. Um, it's very decent. It's pretty smooth going down. It's got a light to medium mouthfeel. Would you agree? Yeah, it's uh, it's not, it's not a really thick beer. It's mm -hmm. uh, like to like almost almost wants to go to medium, but it's still kind of light. Yeah. It's not watery by any means. It's a uh, this if, this would be a really good starting out beer. I mean, there's nothing offensive in the flavor. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's a, not. It's I mean. It's a little bit, it's, you, it, there's a little bit of hoppiness there. It's a little bit um, bready. That's yeah, that, I want to say. Yeah, that's It's a that's little it. bit bready. It, yeah. It's a little bit bready. It's, uh, there's nothing really crazy about this beer. It's just, you know, it's a lager. It's drinkable. It's, for it's, sure, it's yeah. a lager, and how many of these do we have? Um, well, they come in 12 packs. I know that. And it's, uh, I believe these are reasonably priced. I want to say it's 12, 13 bucks for a 12 pack. Which isn't that bad considering some of those uh, craft beers are ten, twelve, yeah, fourteen dollars for a six a, pack. Is this a craft beer? Uh, I doubt it. I mean, it it's looks not, fancy, but uh, I wouldn't consider it a craft mm, beer. Okay, I consider it delicious though. Um, I'm gonna rate this uh, an eight. As far as lagers go, this is a pretty good lager. There's nothing really special and or spicy going on about this lager, but it's it's, it's you know, highly drinkable. Yeah, so you got a little crumb right here in your beard. I did just eat before I came. Yeah. Out. All right, there you go. But, uh, I mean, it's a good lager. I give it an 8. What about you? Um, I'm going to give it a 7.5. Um, it's a, yeah, you're right, it's a pretty solid lager. Like I said, highly drinkable. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'd, uh, I'd buy this again. All right. Finish yours, and then let's switch glasses out. Next, we're going to be trying Third Shift Amber Lager. We thought this would be appropriate since we both work Third Shift. Yeah. And it is uh, 5 o'clock in the morning right now. <laughs> I've always wanted to try third shift, but I never have quite gotten around to it. Here, try pouring that directly down. It looks like it's got a kind of a creamy head to it. It does. There's nothing rocky about that head. Oh yeah. Well, there's a couple of stones in there, but and it's also a um, pretty uh, what you say color of the head on that is, but that's a uh, off white to just a little bit really really pale yellow. Yeah, my head is gone. It didn't stick around very long. Yeah. Uh, again, very carbonated. This is more like honey. This is a little bit, I think this is a little bit darker. Yeah, this is a hair darker than the, um, the huddle pool there. This is just about alfalfa honey. Now, the smell, um, this virtual, this doesn't have a lot there compared to the... There's not a whole lot of smell to this. I'm hoping the flavor doesn't do the same thing the smells do. I can't, yeah. What I can't, are you, are you Darth Vadering your I'm, beer? I'm trying to get a good smell. Oh, okay, well. Fuzzy. Not much I flavor in the smell. Father. Let's, uh, 
Let's take I'll a break. Take a hmm. I don't think it's as good. Um, it's got a metallic note to it that I'm not a big fan of. You're right about that. It's a little, it's more bitter than out of full. Yeah. Um, it's and it's it's towards the the end. So yeah. the finish isn't as smooth as the out of full. It's a little bit thicker too, I believe. Yeah, I agree. Um, it's not bad by any means. No, it's um, not bad. It's just after having Huddleball, it's just sort of. Yeah. That's that's kind of the the feeling that I get. A little bit of. <clears throat> I get a little bit of roasted malt in there. A little bit. Really? Mm-hmm. Uh, swish it around a little bit in there, and you'll get it. Kind of towards the sides, the middle and side of the mm, there. Yeah, there is a little bit of roastiness to this. It's definitely not bready. Mm -hmm. um, it, it, like I said, it is more hoppy. It's a little bit more bitter than not a pool. Yeah, not by a lot. What it is. It is a couple of steps higher. I wouldn't. I wouldn't bring this to a person who was just starting to drink beer. Uh, agreed. Whereas I might bring Huddlepool mm -hmm. to someone who was first starting to drink beer. But um, oh, by the way, this is five point three alcohol by volume. Mm. It's a little higher than Huddlepool too. Forgot about that. So uh, radar. I think I'm gonna rate this at a six. Mm -hmm. Um, I'd have to agree with you on that. I think it gets all at six. Um, you mm -hmm. know, it's it's better than an average beer, um, but it. Doesn't quite reach that seven and eight. The really good. I definitely go out and buy it again. I I try this again. Like if I caught it on uh, tap or something. Yeah, I would, wanna, I would want to try this off tap, but I want to yeah. try everything off tap. Uh, yeah, it's <laughs> true. I want to try terrible beer off tap. All right. Well, thanks for watching Kentucky Brew Reviews. I'm Special K. I'm Radar, and if you'd be so kind. Like, comment, and subscribe to this video. And if you'd like to see us try any beers, uh, leave a comment below. Um, and we'll see if we can get a hold of it, and we'll try it. We do live in Kentucky. Yeah. It is hard to get... Some beer. Yeah. Anyways, you guys have a good day.